Maker Moments, make a space game. Today we're going to make a game that aliens or astronauts might play in space. These are some of the things you might need. You see there's a ruler, some scrap cardboard, a pair of scissors, tape, some chalk, pencil, marker, something like that, something to write with. Here's what I'm going to make. A game called Floaty Town, which sort of replicates you floating around the universe. If the object of the game is up to you to decide. Uh, if you want to make this, mine is going to be landing on all of the planets and or things in this universe that we're going to make. So, step one, name it, of course, Floaty Town. Maybe add a little decoration there. It's going to look really nice. Um, I happen to have black paper, but you could use cardboard, white paper, small sheet of paper, anything you like. Now, to lay out our universe, I want to pick an origin point where everyone will start from and then lay out the area of four different quadrants. And then I'm going to mark off uh, very specific increments so that when we roll our dice, which we'll make later, it'll be very easy to figure out where you need to go. So just put the mark there. And you can do these marks, of course, at any scale that you like. I'm going to add these numbers to them. So when you go right and up, the numbers are positive. When you go left and down, the numbers are negative. All right. Um, now let's get to drawing our planets, adding in suns and moons and nebulas, and that kind of stuff. Let's put the sun up here. I'm using chalk, like I said, but you are welcome to use you know, crayons, colored paper, markers, plain paper, anything you have at home. Get another nice little fun planet down here. Get a little blue and green planet down here. Might look familiar to you all. Uh, I want to put some stuff down this side. Ooh, there's a fun pink planet. It's got a ring on it. Uh, maybe some like cool nebula situation, something in here. So this area, when you're designing your game, you could say maybe if you land in this, then, then you lose, like your ship is lost. Maybe that's something you want to do. Like I said, the rules are up to you. My rules are to land on every item that is in this universe. But your rules may be different. A couple more here. Uh-huh. And I'll uh, get one down here as well. So we get two things in each quadrant. All right. Everything all covered up. Numbered. Everything else. Looking good. Now, we need to make some dice so that we know exactly where we're going as we play Floaty Town. And as you might know, uh, a single die has six sides. And this pattern, which I'm going to make, is sort of a cross pattern is a very common way to make your own die out of paper or cardboard or whatever. So you want to end up with six squares. And you'll see here in a second, when I cut this out, uh, why I arrange the squares in this way. So let's get them numbered. Positive numbers, negative numbers. And cut it out. Snip, 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 snip. Fold, 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 fold. And you see, I did that shape specifically because it folds up very easily into a cube with just a couple folds. Ta-da! And make one more. And you're done with that. Now, you need to make some game pieces. So these are some scrap cardboard pieces I had. There is a moon, kind of like a sad moon. Give them a little bit of a gray moon hue. Uh, how about a cool rocket ship? Yeah, rocket ships in space. Kind of looks like a squid. Ooh, here's a UFO with a little alien inside. There you go. And, oh, a comet. A comet is a good thing to be in space. Comets are cold. That's why we're going to use blue chalk. So cut out your game pieces. And there you go. If you want to add a little extra decoration, feel free to. And now we are ready to play Floaty Town. All right, so we start all the pieces here in the center. And you roll the dice, and you follow the instructions on them. So as you can see, that is negative 1 and negative 3. So you go down 1, left 3, and you just keep doing this. And like I said, the point of my game was to land on every planet and or thing on the board, but you could make up your own rules as you go. Maybe each one is a specific number of points. Maybe you want to make it to a specific one. I don't know. It's up to you. And here at the end, I also decided to add some dots as a grid to help you figure out where exactly you need to move to. Um, added bonus, they look like stars. 